fellow fellow warriors against consensus reality and all modern bullshit. There was um, something that popped up on uh, YouTube as as it does, which reminded me of the um, the trend and I suppose the fruits of modern feminism and the SJW narrative. There's a trend to, an increasing trend, to attack, demonize, and criminalize a man who is of European background. You notice I don't say who is white because there is no such thing as a white race, okay? People within Europe are different races, okay? But men of European background are increasingly demonized and attacked. And there was a story which I became aware of. Apparently it was in London in the um, underground train. Uh, some guy got on the train. There was a woman there with um, a young child, I believe. And apparently this man was um, not right in the head and threatened to kick this woman, which he promptly did. And it took off from there, as you can imagine. And <laughs> on the same carriage, there were these two uh, English, middle-aged English men who promptly got up and moved to another carriage. And, of course, this woman who was attacked, she was not angry with her attacker. In fact, she justified him. She felt sorry for him because he needed medication. Right? She was angry with the two guys who got up to leave and didn't help, who didn't stay and help the poor defenseless little woman. Okay? And you had another story which kind of tied in, which, you know, the person who, um, who who made the video made a good point. It may indicate this, the beginning of a trend. And from what I'm seeing myself, that's quite possible. Um, apparently there was a child lost in a park somewhere and a man, of course, being the good-hearted human being he was, decided to try to help his child to find her parents. The man ended up being attacked on social media, branded a kidnapper and a pedophile, and was punched in the face five or six times by the child's father, who then kept whinging like a, like a menstruating little bitch about anyone being able to kidnap any child these days and not being put in prison for it. So the moral of the story, gentlemen, is... If you see a child or a woman in distress, get up and leave. I don't know about you guys, but I'd rather not be branded as a pedophile. And so, it is, I believe, the beginning of a d disturbing trend. And um, it's, I mean, okay, with the whole postmodernist feminist narrative that's been blasted from every uh, platform in mass media and social media and what have you, you know, for the past 10, 15, 20, 30 years, uh, women are now starting to reap the fruits of their labours. Um, you've spent all these years trying to tell us that men and women are perfectly equal and anything a man can do, a woman can do, you got it. So if you're being attacked on a train, we won't help you. Help yourself. We're equal, aren't we? Go nuts. The era of the um, knight 
in shining armor coming in to rescue the damsel in distress are over chivalry is dead the knight in shining armor is dead all these things that you idiots took for granted are dead thank you feminism but you can't have it both ways you can't play the the oh i was just a Helpless little woman. No, you're sort of girl power and all that kind of fucking bullshit, right? Some of us still cringe when we remember the, the Spice Girls. Okay? So I hope, ladies, you are enjoying the fruit of your labours. Because we will no longer help you. Because in so, in these days, if a man of European background helps you, he is the one being charged and attacked. And if he happens to brush against you while helping you, he gains for himself false rape accusations as well. So I really, really hope you people enjoy the fruits of your labours. Uh, men may also suggest don't ever help any of these idiots. They're, they've told us so long that they can help it. They can help themselves and do anything a man can do. Well, have at it, ladies. Have at it. If you're in a country like Sweden and you're being attacked by a Muslim rape gang, enjoy. Okay? Which, you know, again, as I mentioned in a previous video, considering how many women were, got, were, were wet from this Fifty Shades of Grey bullshit, may even be a secret fetish of yours. Who, who the fuck knows anymore? So again, I believe this is part of a concerted effort attacking masculinity and men and demonizing the good and right and honorable in masculinity that we all once took for granted. And it's all part of the inversion, I believe. Um, there's no way, other way around it. All you can do though, and all I can suggest Watch your back. Never let yourself be placed in a situation where you can be charged or put in any of this kind of danger yourself. Always look out for yourself. And in fact, I was even discussing um, certain types of customers with, with a fellow guy at work the other day. And the man sort of indicated his own frustration at these, quote, entitled clueless bitches, unquote. <laughs> I tried hard not to laugh too much, but it was just so spoken with such sincerity and such angst, I just couldn't help myself. So I think you'll find that there are an increasing number of guys sick of all this shit. Um, and again, all I can say is watch your backs. Because men have never had so little legal or whatever protection, any form of other protection uh, before. It is increasingly becoming risky being a European background man in today's world. And of course, another little thing too. Um, with the, I mentioned music. Uh, I came across a um, a song from a new um, heavy rock band called Inglorious. Uh, good band, by the way. They've released two albums. And I was thinking how, you know, that referring to the Bon Jovi song Always and how simping uh, modern pop music is, there was a song which came up on their new, on the new album, Them Being Inglorious, which the chorus began, I don't need your loving... I'm I'm doing fine, and I'm thinking, there we go, a MGTOW song. <laughs> so, yeah, you would find it very, very difficult to find any kind of simping in metal. Um, it just That's just not how we roll. All right? <laughs> the lone wolf on guitar out. <laughs>